What's howling, Lobos? 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 Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Wednesday, October 4th. I'm Kaylani, and this is my co-anchor, Auden. We hope you all had a nice fall break. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America, States of America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and, and justice for all. You may be seated. Students, during the month of October, Mr. Patterson will be outside during brunch as often as possible, collecting signatures from students who want to step up against bullying. Come and sign so you can be a part of the bully-free culture of, of La Mesa. Hey Lobos, in honor of National Bring Your Teddy Bear to School Day, we are having a pajama day next Wednesday, October 11th. Make sure you wear your favorite pajamas and bring the stuffed animal of your choice. Hope to see everyone in their favorite bedtime outfit. Congratulations to the Grizz for winning the dodgeball tournament. Don't forget to come out and see them try to avenge last year's defeat against the staff. All are welcome to come out and watch the students versus the faculty dodgeball game tomorrow. The game will be played at lunch in the gym. There's a bounty for Mr. Suarez and Mr. Dunwoody's head. You will be awarded with free in and out. This is a reminder that this Friday is the very last day to turn in your applications to join Junior Honor Society. Avoid the long line at the ASB window by turning in yours today. Don't be the last minute Larry. Hey Lobos, the school fundraiser Superheroes for La Mesa is in full swing and money is being donated left and right. There's still time this week for you and your family to participate and it's very easy. Just go to the La Mesa website and click on the Donate Now button on the home page. You can be eligible for various prizes. Remember, the first team to reach $3,500 will win a free pizza party or free taco party. October has arrived with its ghosts and ghouls, fall leaves, and college football. This Friday is the first day of October, and it is college t-shirt day. Represent your favorite college, UCLA and USC shirts will be out there. So will Alabama. Will your favorite college be represented? Make sure you wear your college t-shirt today. Students of the month for the month of September were chosen by the teams and departments. They were honored at the celebratory breakfast on Friday. Here they are. From the Broncos, Arian Chowdhury and late Kayla Rung. From the Bulldogs, William Hake and Drew Richardson. From the Cougars, Celeste Allenzies and Thorin Quintilla. From the Falcons, Gabrielle Abrego and Mohammed Abu Saud. From the Griffins, Riley Blackhall and Michael Rogozik. From the Matadors, Jason Ford and Marie Hamilton. From the Panthers, Luis Gario Sato and Moise Perez. From the Tritons, Aiden Dixon and Kylie Dunsworth. From the Wildcats, Deshaun Harris and Lindsey Peral. From the Wolverines, Emily Gonzalez and Nate Groves. From electives, Jesus Martinez, De Santiago and Ryan Waldo. 
from PE, Agatha Felix, Benny Nunez, Emily Quintero, and Rafael Burrus. Today in history, on October 4th, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite. Today is also the birthday of fictional comic book police detective Dick Tracy. He is 86 years old. The word of the day for today is veracity. It is a noun. The definition is devotion to the truth, truthfulness. A sample sentence would be veracity is often ignored when fishermen start sharing fishing stories. Something you should know about today. Today is National Taco Day. Tacos are loved and eaten by millions each day in either hard or soft shells with a variety of fillings. The history of tacos predates the arrival of Europeans in Mexico. Anthropological evidence shows the native people living in the lake region of the, of the Valley of Mexico traditionally ate tacos filled with small fish. It is unclear why the Spanish use the word taco to describe the native food. One suggested origin is the word a taco, meaning stuffed or too stuffed. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Kehlani and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm Autumn. Have a working Wednesday.